Torture, mayhem, murder. In 2016, new mother Yana Cassian was barbarically mutilated and gruesomely murdered inside the Hollywood condo she shared with her fiance Blake Libel. The murder scene looked like something out of a gut-churning horror flick, and as it turns out, there was a very good reason for that. We like to take the time to really put in the extra effort. Millionaire author Blake Libel and his fiance Yana Kassian seem to be living a charmed life. But just three weeks after she gave birth to their daughter, Yana seemed to vanish. Sensing something was wrong, Yana's mother contacted 911. Help, uh, help me, the police. When police broke down the door of their Hollywood condo, they found Yana's body horrifically disfigured and unusually pale under a Mickey Mouse blanket. According to the autopsy report, parts of the right side of her face and her ear were torn off, and her scalp was missing. A medical examiner ruled Yana's cause of death was exsanguination, meaning all of the blood was drained from her body. Using a chemical compound, investigators were able to illuminate areas of the condo where pools of blood had once been, indicating Blake had attempted to clean up the evidence. Authorities believe Yana was alive for six hours before finally dying of blood loss. Blake was taken into custody. In a macabre twist, prosecutors argued that the gruesome slang was mirrored in the plot of Blake's gruesome graphic novel, calling the book a blueprint for the crime. Blake was convicted of murder, mayhem, and torture, and sentenced to life. And joining us now is CrimeOnline.com's Nancy Grace. Nancy, were there ever any telltale signs that killer Blake Libel was capable of this type of barbaric violence? Well, as a matter of fact, Jesse, there was a very big sign. Let me just say a red neon blinking sign. It was his book. You know, he's a graphic novelist, which is basically comic books turned into a book. It was called Syndrome. It was a blueprint for a murder like this. And if you look at the front of it, there is a baby doll's head with the brain showing. And as you know, the victim in this case, Iana, was literally scalped. Now, if that's not a red flag of alarm, I don't know what is. All right, Nancy, we know that Iana's family has won their wrongful death suit, but how will Blake end up ponying up the $41.6 million that he's been ordered to pay here? It's a lot of money. Jesse, your guess is as good as mine. I know this much. His parents are multimillionaires. His mother passed away. She was wealthy in her own right. And there is a rumor that he has stashed away his inheritance 